Hello, what's up, everybody? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. If you're coming for the first time, please, 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 please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you can be notified every time when I upload a new video. If you are a returning subscriber, you know I got you. Thank you so much, guys, for coming back. Specifically okay. with this video, I just want to congratulate all of the new students that are now currently registered with Tunisia. Congratulations, you guys. Welcome to UNISA. I hope that you will enjoy the ride. So, like, the first thing that I would like to actually leave with you guys is that you need to familiarize yourself with how the website works. Because this is this website is something that is actually going to carry your studying through. You're not going to have somebody who's going to follow after you. You're not going to have somebody who's going to tell you what to do. You just need to know how to, familiar, like, to be familiar with the with the website with my unisa website so that you will know what to do and when to do it so yeah just to confirm registrations have been closed for the year 2022 on the 17th of february they were actually accepting the minimum payments as the last day of accepting them so another thing that i would like to leave with you guys is that you need to make sure that you submit your assignments in time because like i said anything can happen so you don't want to do that and like leave on last minute and then the next thing you have an issue because with unisa most of the courses you need to submit first assignment i don't want to say that's how it is because i'm not sure about all these other courses but like generally, generally speaking i know that unisa you need to qualify for your examinations by simply submitting your first assignment Whereas in other universities like UK, then they would actually want you to have a DP, which is they combine all the assignments that they've given you and they gotta have a minimum mark that qualifies you to write your examinations. It's different with UNISA. All you need to do is to simple submit your first assignment and you will automatically qualify to write your examinations. So if you don't do good on your assignment, you will have a lot of, lot of pressure to actually excel with your, with your exams. I know that we've been familiar with submitting on my on my admin when we are submitting assignments. Now they've recently upgraded the website, which is maybe it's a good, a good thing in a way. So now we're no longer going to your admin to actually submit your assignments like we normally used to do before. So now you want to find these my modules. I'm going to leave you guys the link below that will actually elaborate further about that down below. On the description box okay another thing that i want to tell you guys is that you need to make sure that you check your emails every single day and also guys if you're using your phone because like almost all of us are always having our smartphones around try and log in on your my life or on your my unisa and save password in that way it's going to be easy you're not going to feel lazy for you to actually log in in order for you to read your emails you're just going to punch in maybe the first the first number of your student number then everything will going to pop out and then you're gonna press log in and then you'll be able to read your emails in that way okay so you have to check your emails at least twice a day maybe during the morning hours and the afternoon hours just so you can make sure that you are up to date with your lecturers and your tutors trying to communicate with you don't fall behind on anything and also to be step ahead is also a beautiful thing as a student so you gotta check your emails and lastly but not least guys i need to emphasize this this is very important uh, this is something that I wish somebody told me, so I had to learn the hard way. So that is the reason why I try by all means, almost in all my videos, to make sure that I remind you guys that at the beginning of the year or at the beginning of a semester, once you have registered, UNISA releases previous papers on my UNISA. And this is where you, you find them, where you find your, your tutorial letters uh, and, and stuff and your, and your study material. Okay, so below, they normally release previous use sorry previous examination papers and the tricky part about this is that they also take them away as you get as you get closer to your examination uh, date so you gotta make sure that at the beginning of a semester or at the beginning of the year make sure that you download those previous papers and keep them on your side so that you can be able so to use them when you are now preparing to actually write examinations i don't want to lie to you guys they come in very handy when you are preparing for your exams when you have studied that's what you need to study you can use these examinations to actually test yourself about how ready you are for your exams i don't want to lie to you they've helped me a lot throughout my journey and i just decided to actually pass that information towards you guys as well thank you so much for staying tuned in from me to you all i can say is i'll see you on a, on a flip side <laughs>